China tells Pakistan that the two deadly terror attacks that targeted Chinese nationals are unacceptable and Islamabad should launch a crackdown against all anti-China terrorist groups. Trouble mounts for Justin Trudeau's minority government in Canada, this after Quebec Nationalist Party, the Bloc Quebecois, vows to topple his government, joining hands with the opposition. South Korean MPs claim that North Korea has moved a launcher in place after completing preparations to launch an anti and intercontinental ballistic missiles and may go ahead with the launch in November. Israeli forces claim that sirens activated in communities across northern Israel and in the area around Netanya were triggered by a surface-to-surface -surface missile launched from Lebanon. Alerts are also activated in numerous other towns further north, including Haifa. Kyiv announced a fresh mobilization drive on Tuesday as Moscow seized the mining hub of Selidov. The Secretary of Ukraine's National Security Council tells the parliament that the army plans to recruit another 160,000 people. At least 13 people die in flash floods affecting southeastern Spain. Authorities in the worst hit areas advise citizens to stay at home and avoid non-essential travel. percentage of British workers in low-paying jobs has fallen to a historic low of 3.4%, raising worries about future inflation. The definition of low-paid work is the share of employees paid below two-thirds of median hourly earnings.